How Not to Suck, Fashion Tips, from the Editor, by Sarah LaFleur Vetter. As my favorite fashion blog puts it, the best thing about fashion is that you don't have to follow any particular rules to look good. Despite what those stupidly overpriced magazines say, trends should be spat on with disgust rather than followed religiously. These are your fashion ABCs. Whip out your notebook. Start jot. Number one, be yourself. Do not read fashion magazines and do not look to celebrities for fashion tips. They won't help you find your own style and they are all aliens anyway. Style is something you feel in your blood, so I can't tell you specifically what to wear because you can't rock the same things I rock. Style is instinct, and if you wake up one morning and that morning your instinct is to put on a pair of Adidas sweatpants and run around shirtless, then by all means, go with your bad self. Number two. Jeans should be tight. If nobody can see the contours of your butt, they'll assume you don't have one. Something horrible happened in the 1990s when I was in school. It became cool to wear baggy pants. I don't know if that happened in Europe, too, or if it was just an American disease, but that year is over, people. Besides, a good pair of nice, tight jeans is the most fundamental element of a good outfit like bread and butter. You can put them on and wear them for several days, complimenting them by rotating in a different old t-shirt every day, and they still look great. God bless America for inventing jeans. That's one thing we didn't screw up. Number three, when possible, wear a hat. Hats are dope. And if you don't want to do anything crazy with your hair, then you don't even have to touch it. Likewise, if you don't have any hair, No one has to know. Cowboy hats, the old man paper boy hat, and the ball cap cocked to one side. These are essentials to your wardrobe. When the correct hat is chosen, the whole outfit sings. Number four, colors. Look, people, this is where you can really express yourself. Have you ever heard the expression, let your true colors shine? Okay, so that's lame, but the point is self-expression. Color is mood. Do not be afraid when people stare at you because you're wearing a bright color. Bad fashion has tried to make black the only fashionable color for modern clothing, turning all the world into a funeral. But you, my friend, can resurrect the dead. People are weak little creatures. They'll stare at you because they are slaves to funeral fashion. If they cannot see that you are free, they will probably never be enlightened, so do not pay them any mind. Number five, kicks. As far as the basics go, shoes are big, real big. This is where you top off the whole outfit. Right now, old school Nikes and Reeboks are all the rage, 1980s b-boy style. You gotta have at least two pairs of these to bring back the innocence and freshness of this golden era. Vans, too, have made a huge comeback. Checkers, camouflage, plaid, you name it. These shoes are the bomb because they involve zero preparation. Just slip them on like a pair of slippers. Hell yeah. Comfort is really important here. Don't wear high heels that give you blisters or make it virtually impossible for you to actually walk because you think it will impress someone. This can really ruin an important night. Shoes need to be broken into, to become a part of your foot, and put the icing on the cake as far as your style is concerned.